The Louisiana woman who went viral for using Gorilla Glue as hairspray said in an interview that she never intended to spread her sticky saga online, but was desperate for help in entangling her mess. I never was going to take this to social media. The reason I took this to social media was because I didn't know what else to do, Tessica Brown told ET. And I know somebody out there could have told me something. I didn't think for one second when I got up the next morning it was gonna be everywhere," she added. Brown, whose hair has been stuck solid for a month, on Wednesday said she would be going to see a surgeon to get unstuck. She made the announcement after TMZ reported that a Beverly Hills plastic surgeon had offered to help free of charge. In describing how she ended up in the hairy predicament, Brown told ET that she, definitely, regrets using the industrial strength adhesive after running out of hairspray just as she was about to leave her home. The mother of five said she had used Gorilla Glue before, though never on her hair, and assumed she could simply, wash it right out. After trying to use olive, tea tree and other oils to wash off the glue, she decided to turn to social media, and then went to St. Parish Hospital in Chalmette, where health workers tried using, little acetone packs. But Brown denied spending 22 hours in the ER as her video seeking help took the internet by storm and she was soon dubbed, Gorilla Glue Girl. I told my son today, I wish I could just go back, because I'm over it. I'm over it, she told E.T. I'm usually the person that I don't care what people say. I just move at my own pace. I don't care what people say, but it's just getting to the point where people are on TV saying stuff about me. Brown continued, if you knew me, you wouldn't say half the stuff they are saying. Then somebody said, oh, she's just put that on her head on purpose just to get to here. Who in their right mind would say, oh well, let me just spray this in my head and become famous overnight? Never, ellipsis. Who would want them to do that? I needed somebody to tell me how to take this off, that's all it was. Brown, who owns Tessica's Little Angels Daycare and runs the Dazzling Divas Dance Group, said she, didn't need this, as her businesses were struggling during the coronavirus pandemic. The news put up a picture of me being bald, which wasn't me. My daughter, had to deal with that yesterday. The teachers are talking about it, she told the outlet. My little girl, she don't want me to do her hair no more. I told her, let me do your hair. She said, you're not doing my hair. But I'm thinking she's joking and playing, but she didn't let me do it, Brown added. She has already raised more than $16,000 in an online fundraiser, money she said will go toward, the wigs that everybody is telling me I'm going to need. That's why I always said $1, 500, 